How many times do you say I love you? Oh, that's a good question. To how many people do you say I love you? Oh, oh that, that's, <laughs> that's an even juicier question. I say it multiple times. To multiple Ooh. guys? Um, Tasha Adams, our bachelorette. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe? Uh, it's been a, a journey years in the making. How surprised were you? What was your reaction when you got the call? Are you kidding me? This is a conversation that I've had multiple times. Um, and I kind of wrote it off at this point. And so when I did get the phone call, I was like, hold on, what? Um, I was shocked, but so, obviously really excited. So how, how are you emotionally and mentally right now? Are you happy? You know, I'm happy. And part of the reason is because I can finally say I'm the bachelorette. It's been a secret I've been holding on to for a long, long time. I mean, Claire went into this season having been quarantined and I do think that put her in a certain mental place. What was your mindset going in? I didn't really have too much time to think about it. And the one opportunity I had to think about was the fact that my heart is ready. And so with those intentions, I just kind of went with it. <laughs> I'm coming here with the purest of intentions and I just want you guys to be real. Come on, babe! I got married and divorced at a really young age. And I feel like this is my time to really dive in deep and find my life partner. How quickly were you in quarantine at La Quinta and how long were you in quarantine before you were stepping out of that limo? Um, I was in quarantine within like 48 hours of that phone call. When did I step out of limo? I have no idea because everything was just moving so quickly after that. Um, yeah, it happened like a flash. I mean, I think you know, maybe you don't want to tell us, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you learn what had happened with Claire. So in your mind right now, is this over? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, you've just blown up the bachelorette. <laughs> Were you nervous about the pressure of that and, and what your feelings might be like and how fast they would move? They did share to me that, um, you know, if things were continuing to move the way that they had, that Claire might have found her love already. I didn't know much more than that. And so I didn't really ask many questions just because if it was going to be my opportunity, I wanted to kind of have my own experience with it all. My question is, <laughs> did you feel pressure to not have the yeah. same type of love story as Claire? Or do you have the same type? Did you meet your husband on your night one, Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you just have to wait and see. But um, no, I didn't really feel any pressure, to be honest. I just wanted to give myself a chance and the opportunity and see if it was possible. So did you feel like you met your husband on night one? <laughs> <laughs> there were some cute men, I'll tell you that much. Okay. I don't know about all that. Uh, saying cute is about a hundred times less than what Claire said. <laughs> um, well, ultimately, how do you feel your season is different than Claire's? How would you contrast the two? Um, well, it lasted a few more weeks, but other than that, um, you just really see a lot of the men that you're not seeing that you haven't previously seen. And um, the guys are incredible incredible um but they did make me cry um there are some really fun dates there are a lot of twists and turns i don't know it's just okay. a really good season i'm truly giving it a chance and it's more than what i've ever opened up myself to but also i have to follow my heart well abc exec rob mills he did an interview and he said that you fall in love with multiple guys so mm -hmm. what do you have to say to that how many guys do you fall for <laughs> Um, way more than I thought. Um, I didn't know that it was possible to fall in love with multiple people, but when you just really lean into the journey and um, really be vulnerable, you never know what can happen. And it happened to me, so. Uh, this season has proven that a hundred times yeah. over. <laughs> How many times do you say I love you? Oh, that's a good question. To how many people do you say I love you? Oh. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's an even juicier question. I say it multiple times. To multiple guys? Um, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> okay. Um, like Claire, did you look up the guys before you went in? Because you had the opportunity to. You know what? I looked at them when they were first released for Claire. So that was months ago because 
of quarantine, everything kind of got moved back. Um, but I did not look them up after that. And I was really happy I didn't because I didn't really know what I was walking into. I had forgotten about everybody at that point. Okay, so were you disappointed Dale wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't know his. I didn't know he would be there anyway. So okay. sounds like you did not do quite as much digging as Claire did. Um, no, you mentioned the guys make you cry. Uh, I, I want to talk about a few min moments in the promo that we have. We see you crying on the side of the road, saying you can't do this anymore. What can't you do anymore? What is that moment about? I will say that the guys just give a lot. They are so vulnerable and there is so much depth to them and they really open up to me. And at that point, you're starting to really create relationships and really care about these people. And breaking up is part of the journey that nobody really talks about, but that's the hardest part once you're starting to establish relationships and connections. And yeah, that's kind of why I start crying. Because you can't break up with people anymore? Well, because it's starting to get really real. You feel a lot of things. Was it, I mean, you're somebody who'd been in talks for this, as we've said, for a long time. Was this whole thing more intense, more real, more what than you'd ever imagined? Um, absolutely. It's harder than I had imagined. It sounds, it's all glitz and glam if you think about it. Lots of gowns and you have like a lot of men vying for your heart in suits and like it's fun and games, but it's, it's really intense journey to find the love of your life. Well, we also see you in a white dress in the promo. <laughs> so Tasha, nothing about that says anything other than proposal moment. Do you get <laughs> proposed to this season? <laughs> um, I do wear a wedding dress. I will say that. You wear a wedding dress? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, you're gonna, this is probably some photo shoot on a date or something. I know you only got so many date options at La Quinta. Taisha, you are wearing a white dress, standing mm -hmm. alone. Everything oh. about what we've known for this franchise, of this franchise for 20 years says proposal. So you're standing there and you're crying. What is happening in that moment? Um, it all just hitting me. I mean, it's a, it's, it, it moves so fast. Are those happy and... tears or sad tears? Oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> you just have to wait and see. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Tasha, so now I've got a lot of questions. Um, are you engaged right now? Um, possibly. Are you in love right now? Um, possibly. <laughs> okay, no ring on your finger doesn't mean much to me. It could be right off camera. Um, <laughs> All right, well, when uh, we also see a couple moments with these guys uh, mm -hmm. in the promo, it looks like Brendan, Ivan, and Zach. Well, tell me about Brendan. Okay, so Brendan is someone that stuck out to me night one, and um, I don't know if I can say all of this. <laughs> I, I really want to give you the tea, uh, <laughs> but um, I end up having a one-on-one -on -one date with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he one of the guys you fall in love with? I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. I'm 100% convinced that Taisha can be my wife. Taisha's my dream girl, and I could see myself falling in love with her. Taisha. Yes. I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Well, in the promo, we straight up see Zach saying he's falling in love with you. So it seems like things get to a certain place with Zach. Tell me about your connection mm -hmm. with Zach. He is someone that has depth to him that was willing to go those places. I'm telling you right now, these guys are vulnerable. They're yeah. open, they're yeah. honest, they're real. Well, Tasha, you're someone who has been, uh, you know, you've been divorced. I think maybe people don't understand how much you really were wanting to find love and how ready were you, are you, to get married? Um, it's so funny. So right before quarantine happened, I was like, you know what? I am ready today. I'm ready to get out there. And then, of course, quarantine hit and I was by myself in my, in my apartment. But then I went on this journey. So I have been ready to find my person for a while now. And... This is the right way. This is the right opportunity to. Now, do you feel like these guys give you a fair chance? Is there a concern that they're too wrapped up in Claire and that they're not excited for you? Um, that was definitely a fear of mine that they weren't gonna be able to kind of switch their mindset. Um, 
but they do welcome me with open arms and you will be seeing that and how excited they all were and how fun it's gonna be. Tasha, how could they not welcome you with open arms? I didn't really believe that concern. I'm like, really? And what do they have going on outside the resort? It. They have nothing to leave for. I mean, come on. Um, let's talk about something really important, which is uh, that you are the second black bachelorette in franchise history. How did that feel for you to take that mantle on um, to do it, especially after everything that had happened this year? Well, not only am I the second African-American bachelorette, but I'm also, I'm biracial. I'm also Mexican. So it is just an amazing opportunity that I've been given to have a platform for women that are like me to see somebody represented and for me to find love and just show what that looks like because it's a beautiful journey and I'm happy that I'm able to have that platform to do so. What do you think this means for the franchise? Because we've now had Peter, who is Cuban. Um, we have Matt, we have you. It's uh, it's the first time we've had back-to-back, -back, um, you know, people of color in the lead. So how does that feel for you? And what do you think it means for the future? Well, I think that that just goes to show that people are trying. The world is changing. And as it, right, like, as it should, love comes in all different shades and colors and it looks like this, you know what I mean? So the fact that you're starting to see that on television displayed is a step in the right direction. We're both biracial and, you know, we have this beautiful love story developing. And how much do we see any of those conversations happen? There's a part in the promo where you and Ivan talk about being mixed race. Um, yeah, and, and, and for me, I was also given the opportunity to date people that I might have not had the opportunity to. And mm -hmm. that's the part for me that Honestly, I keep saying like, I'm so blessed because I met some fantastic men. Now, do we have a villain this season? Because the promos look like we might. <laughs> Who is it? Do you, do you, are there guys you wish Claire had warned you about? I mean, you know, possibly, but the guy, they're good guys. They're good guys, but there's some people you should probably watch for. Well, you said the the guys, you didn't. we didn't really get to know them on Claire season. How many new guys do you get? And do you connect more with the new guys or the ones who were there for Claire? I have to say, I, there's some new faces and it's gonna get really juicy the second that happens. So just wait and see.